Have you recently discovered you have elevated liver enzymes? Maybe you've been exercising more and you want to know, can exercise affect elevated liver enzymes? My name is Dr. Taranella and in this video we're going to look at that specific question. We're going to look at how much exercise would potentially cause this, the difference between being trained and untrained in terms of causing elevated liver enzymes, how long the liver enzymes might be elevated if you are exercising and potentially causing your body to have higher liver enzymes, and what is actually meant by liver enzymes. Are these enzymes really just in your liver or are they found in other places as well? So if you like this kind of information on health optimization, hormones, nutrition, and trying to discover what's going on in your body and you want to get more information like this, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It is not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of health and treatment success. If you need medical attention, don't delay in seeking that treatment. All right, let's look at the effect of exercise on elevated liver enzymes. Can exercise affect liver enzymes? Several people have asked the question about the effect of exercise on elevated liver enzymes. And so today I wanted to do a specific video to address that topic in more detail. So first I'm gonna share with you a case example of someone that had elevated liver enzymes specifically from exercise. This is well documented and also a research study that goes into this question specifically about the effect of exercise on elevated liver enzymes. All right, so here's the case example. So this was a 30 year old female graduate student. She presented to determine whether or not she was eligible for a pharmacological study involving a new psychiatric medication. She did drink one to two times a week, which is not that much. Typically, you would expect more would be needed to cause elevated liver enzymes. And they did a physical exam on her. It was all normal. And then they did a laboratory assessment, which they, in that is where they found elevated alanine aminotransferase, which is ALT at a level 87, so moderately high. And AST was also high at 120. She also had elevated lactate dehydrogenase and CK, which is creatinine kinase. So she was otherwise very healthy person person, a 30-year-old female with no real issues going on as far as she knew. So it was kind of a surprise for her to find this. Now, after reviewing these results with her, she did report that she had been training a lot more for a tough mutter. And once she stopped the exercise altogether and repeated the tests in three weeks, everything was back to normal. So this just illustrates the fact that these liver enzymes are also highly concentrated in muscle. Yes, they're more concentrated in the liver, but they're also very very abundant in other tissues too, specifically the muscles. So AST is in muscle, heart, kidneys, and red blood cells, and the brain, and the small bowel, and ALT is present in liver, muscle, and kidneys. In fact, if you look at it on the larger scale, since muscle has bigger mass than the liver does, there's actually more AST and ALT in muscle when you look at it from the larger scale. So if you're using all your body doing a full body workout, that's possible, you know, depending on your training level and things like that, that you can get elevated liver enzymes from simply exercising. And it also brings in a larger point that elevated liver enzymes can be signs of other tissue damage too, not just liver, but of course, muscle, you know, if you're not exercising muscle disorders, or specifically if there is injury, which exercise is included in that small injuries from mild exercise. But as you ramp up the intensity of exercise, you're going to get more muscle damage, especially if you're not trained. You can also have these elevations from hemolysis, which is just, you know, breaking open of red blood cells because they are in the red blood cells as well. And also, you know, heart attack, and small bowel damage to usually from ischemia or lack of blood flow. This study does go into more detail on some of these things, but it's specifically looking to answer the question of the effect of exercise on liver enzymes. So the study enrolled healthy male subjects to perform weightlifting exercises. So they specifically chose either people that were not trained at all or exercises that the people were not used to doing. The exercise was done for about one hour and the results showed significant increases in AST, ALT, as well as lactate dehydrogenase and creatinine kinase and myoglobulin levels, which is a muscle protein. And what was kind of interesting to me when I was reading this study is that the effects of this were prolonged 
in that most subjects still had increased liver enzyme concentrations one week after performing the weightlifting program. And this was in line with other studies looking to answer this question too, where they found using strenuous one-arm exercises resulted in significant muscle damage and increases in liver enzymes, which are also muscle enzymes were up to 10 days after the exercise. Yeah. And I just wanted to point out there that slip of, you know, using the context of this AST and ALT as strictly for liver enzymes. And while generally we do call them liver function tests and liver enzymes, they are more abundant. They are in other tissues, as I pointed out earlier. So just because we call them liver enzymes doesn't mean they can't be in other tissues. And it's the enzymes within the cells themselves that are spilling out into the blood when those tissues are damaged. When those cells are damaged, the contents of the cells spill into the blood. And then you, when you do the blood draw, you're gonna see those elevations there. So whether there's damage to the liver, the kidneys, the muscles, you can see elevations in these enzymes. The liver is just the more common, common place to see them. But as this research study points out, there's other reasons other than liver damage that can cause elevated liver enzymes. And this case example also illustrates that. Keep in mind too, that the more trained you are, the more used to the exercise you are, the less likely this is going to happen. So if you go out and do a really big workout and you haven't been exercising much at all in the first month or two months, you're more likely to see this effect in the blood when you go get your blood taken. So and you may need to wait at least seven days, maybe even up to 10 days for this to normalize after the vigorous exercise. Then the other thing is if you have this ongoing liver enzyme elevation and you're exercising a lot and it's kind of a gray area because you are trained, but you're doing, you know, more vigorous exercise than maybe the next person, or you think that it's, you know, really vigorous exercise. Well, you can also do the creatinine kinase test or myoglobulin test. And if those are elevated, that tells us there is muscle damage going on and it's more likely coming from the muscle tissue and not the liver. All right, that's all I had on this question. Can exercise affect elevated liver enzymes? Hopefully that gives you a better understanding of the role of exercise on liver enzymes and the role of liver enzymes in the body in general. If you do have more questions about this topic, drop it in the comment section or about liver enzymes in general or anything else, drop it in the comment section. Definitely try and answer your question. I may do a separate video on that topic just like I did with this. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.